Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be the spread to talk about the energy from the 9th to the 15th of May. It's a six card spread for Sun, Moon, and Rising Cancer. Let's see what cards you have, Cancer. Okay, so the first card you have is the Hierophant, which talks about traditionalism, religion, spirituality. Um, <clears throat> the key energy that I feel for the Hierophant Cancer is really in regards to structure, okay? Scorpio did have similar energy like this as well for the first part of um, their reading, okay? Now, as I was shuffling Cancer, I was trying to put this Three of Cups in the weakness spot because that's where I felt like it was going to go. And Spirit said, no, no, no. That Three of Cups is going in the outcome card. <laughs> so Cancers, um, I do feel that this spread has a touch of um, romance, okay? So is this upright? No, they're saying it's reverse. So the cards you have here, it's a six card spread Cancer, is... Hierophant, the Hierophant, the Chariot, there you are. So funny enough, Cancer, in your strong um, position, it's the Chariot, <laughs> the card of strength, forward movement, okay, also can represent um, being fast-paced, something something that's, that's happening very quickly, okay? So there definitely could be a little bit of overwhelmment here. Um, but not as much as Scorpios, but I do see it could definitely be the energy of feeling overwhelmed cancer, all right? So going through your cards, you have the Hierophant, the Chariot, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Moon. So what it definitely feels like here, cancer, is that it feels like someone's trying to turn from their ways here. Because the Hierophant is all about traditional. The Hierophant is all about wanting to fall in line, so to speak. Could be the desire to have the perfect schedule, the perfect life, the perfect clothes, the perfect hair, the perfect nails. This card is giving me so much energy cancer of somebody who is wanting to be perfect. But I do want to say, Cancer, that that's impossible. No one can be perfect. And I do know that a lot of earth signs and water signs a lot of times do struggle with this um, and struggle to understand this concept as well as myself. But no, the reality is that no one's perfect. So the two cards here represent the energy that you can expect, okay? Things you can expect to happen. The two, These two cards are, are in representation to the main goal, outcome, and then these two cards down here, strength, weakness. So what's telling here, Cancer, is that your strong suit is yourself. What this card is saying here is that, Cancer, if you are able to really fully be yourself this month okay even past the 15th of may okay if you're willing to listen to your heart listen to where your mind and your soul and your heart is trying to take you then you're definitely going to find success okay now this three of cups card in the outcome card um i'm not going to read traditional guys i'm just going to read off of where i feel i need to go here the three of cups card as the outcome card i think is double meaning okay because for a lot of you guys i do feel sadly that this could definitely be talking about um how you are either well aware that you're in a third party or like a third party relationship love triangle or the other side of this card i feel is is really just in reference to celebrating how far you've come cancer okay um i don't really see it being so much so people it definitely could be people this card definitely could be talking about how this month cancer you'll celebrate with lots of people if that that's definitely a possibility here uh but it just it just feels to me 
with all the water dripping off the cup that this is mainly about you, Cancer. You know, this is mainly about you being proud, being reminiscent, being kind of nostalgic about your own accomplishments, your own childhood, your own life. And um, yeah, there is lots of emotion tied to Three of Cups and the Hierophant and the Chariot because this is all about you, you know? And it's almost like as I'm saying that, Cancer, I almost want to say that it's about time. You know, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's a cross on the hat. So definitely could be talking about going back to um, religious or spiritual or both roots here and feeling grounded once again. And um, yeah, as I'm saying that, Cancer, it just feels like it's about time. It's about time that you're center stage. It's about time that you're the topic of discussion in your own head, Cancer. It's about time that you get your needs and wants and dreams met. And I feel that this chariot card, your own card, Cancer, is saying exactly that. It's time to move forward. It's time to put myself in a good spiritual spot. It's time to get rid of things that haven't benefited me for a very long time. And I feel here... As I see the moon card, well, the moon symbolism almost looks like Saturn, but just, just kind of this moon representation in the background, Cancer. It feels that a lot of you guys have been going through something for years. Um, I just straight up get eight years, okay? So this could really be a plethora of things. This could be divorce. This could be separation. This could be an addiction. This could be something that you've disappointed yourself with, maybe not working out as hard, maybe not being as healthy emotionally um, in relationships. Maybe this could be talking about how you've been um, just in really toxic relationships for so many years. And now Cancer feels that things are going to change. Things are needing to change. More importantly, they're needing to change. So... I do see success for you, Cancers, okay? That's a good thing, is that I, I do see lots of success here. I do see you coming to the point where you're reshifting yourself into focus and you're trying to better yourself. I feel like for some reason there's an energy here, Cancer, of just needing desperately to, to, to better yourself, okay? There's something that you're running away from. There's something that you want to turn your back away from. Two of Pentacles, juggling, Seven of Pentacles, accumulation, wealth, well-being. So it's definitely the theme here, Cancer, of getting yourself back on track. So I definitely want to encourage you guys with the Hierophant card and the Chariot card to do exactly just that, okay? Continue to get on track. Continue to feel good about yourself. Continue to do things, Cancer, that make you feel good about yourself, okay? And I also see here with the Three of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, that it's the energy of it's the energy of cancer of do I need to give other people my attention or do I need to give myself the attention and you already know what that is cancer it's yourself okay in May they're saying it's yourself you need to get back right and solid with yourself okay and then I feel that cancer as things as things begin to melt away as things begin to improve it feels that the energy goes down and out so it starts within, then it triples out, okay? So when you're solid, it, it impacts cancer, everything else, okay? Like a, like, a, like, a, like a Venn diagram kind of spider effect. So get yourself together, cancer, and then everything else will follow, okay? I do feel that's all the messages I have here. My website's below. My social media links are below. Take care, cancer, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Take care. Bye.